Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, Facebook members share their best toy bolo. So you guys, I decided to do a bonus category um, share thread this month in my Facebook group because I absolutely love selling toys. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. reseller. All right, let's get started. And I want to see what you all are selling. Um, so uh, basically what I do is I post this screenshot in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group and I invite members of the group to share their unexpected or big money Bolo items in the thread with a screenshot for a chance to have their item featured in a Bolo Buddies video. And right now, so far, I'm like posting all of them to a video. As this continues to grow, I may not be able to get every single item featured. Um, I may have to pick and choose, but for now, I'm doing all of them. So uh, come on over, join my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. There's links down below. Check the announcements section and watch for these posts. I usually do one a month, but I added this bonus toy um, one in this month because we're getting close to Christmas and I just really want to see what you guys are selling for toys. So um, now I do shout out certain channels and um, only if they share. So if they are a Bolo Buddies YouTube member, I have memberships over on my Bolo Buddies channel and you can learn more about that in the description. But at the $4.99 level, they get to be featured in a Bolo Buddies video once a month. So it's $4.99 a month and you get to be in this video. If you guys have not seen that featured members video, go check it out. It is amazing. These members are Bolo Finders. Fantastic YouTube channels. Go check them out. I've got their eBay stores linked and their YouTube channels linked in the description. But as a bonus, if they decide they want to share on the thread of this post, I also shout their channels out. So if you hear me say Bolo Buddies member, that's what that means. So we are going to start with Bolo Buddies member Mindful Recycle. Her channel, amazing. Now she is kind of slowing down on content. Um, so go over and watch a video and tell her, we want more because I want more. She's like taking a break and I'm like, come on, I want to see what you're selling. She's amazing, you guys. Um, you will definitely learn from her channel. Okay, I went to a garage sale and she's a big estate sale person, so I'm shocked this is a garage sale find. Um, a few weeks ago because they had Department 56 Halloween and Christmas items. They never mentioned if they are um, ad in their ad that they had Mr. Christmas. I ended up picking up 20 of them. I have already sold quite a few. I paid 30 for this one and it sold for $350. You see what I mean? Like 30 to me is paying up, but if I could flip that into 350, I'd do it. So this is the um, Mr. Christmas Gold Label Collection World's Fair Biplane Ride Carousel in a Box. Um, Mr. Christmas has really fantastic items. Mr. Christmas can oftentimes be a bolo. You definitely want to look up anything Mr. Christmas. The next one comes from Rebel, uh, the Rebel Reseller. Again, she is a Bolo Buddies member. Her channel is amazing. And I found her because she joined memberships. Um, same with, um, mindful recycle. Most of my members, that's how I found their channels because most of them started out with small channels when they joined and, you know, I'm just helping them grow and it's easy to do because they're amazing. I mean, these channels are awesome, you guys, but anyway, rebel, um, the rebel reseller, she's a bolo finder. She sells plush and she, man, is she knowledgeable on plush that, I was watching a video just the other day. It was one of her, I think it was her first video ever where she was talking about her inventory. You guys have got to go watch out, watch that video. How she has her inventory, like it, it's amazing. Just go watch it. That's all I got to say. It's fantastic. Okay. She said, I always tell my viewers to watch for plush made of terry cloth. I believe I picked this bear up at a thrift store going out of business and paid $10 for a garbage bag full of plush. So probably less than a dollar. Took a best offer of $56. So you guys, this is a very basic looking teddy bear. Like most of you would probably just not even look twice at it. I know I wouldn't. 
Um, it's called Soft Dreams Terry Cloth Bear Pastel Plush, and it's a rattle with bunny slippers. Now, I will say, this probably would have caught my eye because of those little bunny slippers, and I probably would have looked it up. But it sold for $56, you guys. How cool is that? Okay, the next item. Bought this little lady just because of her name. I had no idea she was hard to find. Found at a thrift store for $5 and sold for ask, full asking price of $125. It says Ivy Cottage Violet Pickles um, Ragdoll from 1990. And it looks like it's a storybook doll. So never heard of it. It's Darling. I probably would have picked it up also. Um, just for the fact that it's new in the box. And for $5, I would have taken a chance. Because more than likely, it's going to be a bread and butter item. But this turned out to be a big money item. So awesome. Thank you so much, everyone, for sharing. Um, Bought at the bins and maybe paid 25 cents for all of them. They were two inches long and sold them pretty quick. Sold for full asking price of $44.99. So they are vintage mini pound bunnies. Not puppies, pound bunnies, you guys. Two inch Lewis Galab toys. Never seen such a thing, but look at that bolo. I love it. This is why I love doing these videos because I learn so much. Thank you guys all so much for sharing. Okay, I think I just said that, but I, I really do mean it. Okay, let's see. This one says, paid $2.99 at Second Avenue Thrift Shop. Even though this was listed on eBay for a year, I was running a 30% off promotion at the time. I cross-posted it, cross-posted it, to Facebook Marketplace last month when they were offering buyers free shipping. It sold in a week for full asking price and Facebook covered the shipping. Um, Facebook has a lot of these promo things going on right now. Um, I'm dabbling in Facebook. I actually have a video where I show you how to cross post from eBay to Facebook Marketplace using List Perfectly. Um, it's an extension. I love it. I've been using it since 2019. It is amazing. Um, if you want to check out that video, um, it looks like this. And you can use coupon referral code BOLA Buddies, all one word, to get 30% off your first month if you watch the video and check it out and it looks like something you could use. Um, I also have a List Perfectly video, looks like this, that shows you how I list things from eBay to Mercari and Poshmark. Those are my three main platforms. That's how I use it all the time. You do have the option to list into List Perfectly's catalog and that will save you time when you're delisting items. I just manually take mine down. It's probably not the best choice, um, but that's how I do it. And I'm just kind of set in my ways. I'm not saying my ways are right. Definitely use the catalog. But um, yeah, if you want to try it, Bolo Buddies, all one word, 30% off your first month. Okay, so what did she sell? This is a Timbuktu board game. Hmm. Sold for $49. So it was listed on eBay, wasn't moving. She cross-posted it to Facebook and it sold in a week for full asking price. You guys, it happens all the time. Like different platforms have different eyes. I tell you guys all the time, like if you're not cross posting, at least try one other platform. Just get your feet wet, see what you think. I mean, it took somebody months and months and months to talk me into putting my items on other platforms. And that was before there was a cross posting uh, service available. Now you guys, you have help. You have List Perfectly. Um, $49 a month and you are going to be bulk cross posting. You're going to pay that with a couple sales and the amount of time it's going to save you and the extra money you're going to make from all those extra sales, totally worth it. Um, and you can try it for 30% off with Bolo Buddies coupon code, all one word. Seriously, you guys, I love it. Um, if you guys watch me on a regular basis, I have what sold videos for Mercari. I have what sold for Poshmark and I sell hard goods hard goods on those platforms. So Poshmark is not only um, clothes anymore. So if you didn't know that, definitely go check out those what sold videos. You'll see what I mean. It's amazing. Okay. Paid 50 cents at a local thrift store. It is an American girl doll. Her name is Ruthie. Um, it's Kit's best friend. I know nothing about American girl dolls. I have heard of Kit. Um, I think I've sold some of her clothes. This one's from 2008 and is retired and sold for $57 on Mercari. 
Um, if you guys want to join Mercari and Poshmark, um, I do have links down below that will get you coupons if you use those links to sign up. And then I get a coupon to shop also. So I would really appreciate it if you guys use my links. Um, you don't have to. If you know somebody better than me, by all means use theirs. But if you don't, please use mine. I greatly appreciate it. All right. Not sure if you consider a puzzle a toy, but bought this for 50 cents at a church thrift store and sold for $165. One piece was missing. Oh, you guys, there was a piece missing and it still sold for $165. Are you hearing this? In three days. Oh, it's a vintage Springbok jigsaw puzzle, the Christmas house. Unbelievable. Now I will tell you if it had a thousand pieces like this says it does, I would not have picked it up if it was open because I am not counting the pieces and I'm not putting it together. No. This next one is amazing. Picked up for free from Facebook Neighborhood Free Group and sold the same day for $1,000. Now, I will tell you, I think the one I sold was blue. It was a scream mask. It was blue. I think it was Easter Unlimited. Mine did not sell for $1,000. I have never seen orange. So, um... If you guys see these masks, it says this one is a Fun World Scream Mask. Okay, so on the bottom of the chin, underneath the chin, it will say Fun World Division. Those are the ones that go for more money. Um, Easter Unlimited on the bottom of the chin can still go for big money. Not as big as the Fun World Division. Uh, this one, I, I mean, it's hard to figure out if they're a Gen 1, but she says it's a Gen 1 and... I probably would have auctioned that because a Gen 1 with an orange face, wow, super rare. Okay, got this for about 75 cents, sold in two weeks for full price. The Wiggles sell well for me. I think I've sold some Wiggles too. Um, so the Wiggles Toy Singing House playset by Spin Master and it works and it sold for $49.99 and this is what it looks like. Okay, you guys, I know all about these. So I bought a um, mystery vintage toy box from Auctions for You, and I'll pop it up here. Um, she didn't share anything, but she is a Bolo Buddies member, so I'm going to shout her out and tell you what I got. Um, so I paid $100 for this vintage box, and it was full of vintage toys, you guys. It was one of the most fun boxes I've ever gotten. And I actually have another box that I bought and I have not gotten to it. I am such a slacker. It is sitting in a cabinet just waiting to be listed, but it's a huge box of vintage toys. And um, the reason I'm putting it off is because I list every single item in the box and I pop up screen shares and I show you how I listed everything. I do have a video on the first box that I did and I made tons of money on it. It was fantastic and I learned so much about different vintage toys. So if you guys wanna learn more about toys, go check out that video just for the educational aspect of it. Um, I've sold so much. I mean, things that I didn't think would sell, there were a couple broken things and things with stains, but because they were vintage, I still listed them and they sold, they were a bolo. So that video is definitely worth the watch. Okay. So one of the items that I had in there were like five of these little hand puppet glow worms and they look like this. Um, but I think I had five and I think I sold them in a lot and um, I can't remember what it sold for, but it's in that video. It may actually be on the thumbnail, but this is an example of, it says cost me zero was my one of my first sales. I only started last month. Well, awesome. And thank you for being here and sharing what you're learning. We appreciate you. Um, got positive feedback. So it's a 1986 Play School Glowworm Glow Friend Shuttle Bug Finger Puppet. She sold it for $12.99 plus shipping. You guys, if you see these little guys, they are a bolo. Um, they're usually a quick sale and they sell for good money. So this one sold for $12.99. And again, it depends on which character it is. Um, okay. This one is a clothing item. So I'm going to skip that one. Okay, they just put it under the wrong post. Okay, so purchased in a lot of about 10 small toys on Facebook Marketplace for $5. Was letting my toddler play with it because I didn't think it was anything. It took a couple of months and a couple of price drops, but got full asking price. Are you guys ready for this? $102 on Mercari. You guys, Mercari is awesome for selling toys. I'm gonna tell you right now, I love selling toys on Mercari. 
Uh, I do pretty good on Poshmark also. But this is a, um, it's Game Chill and Char. They're like, they look like dragons. I don't know. Maybe a game piece? But yeah, $102 plus shipping. Pretty cool, right? All right, the next item. Saw on Facebook Marketplace post for yard sale leftovers free at the curb. This was one of the items. Sold full asking price for $39.99 plus shipping in about three weeks. It is a vintage 2001 Jumbo Scooby-Doo, 32 inch plush. Um, he's like a laying down plush stuffed animal. You guys, plush is great. Um, I, I do great with plush. I've sold some Scooby-Doo's, so I believe it. And free is awesome. Okay, this one comes from Bolo Buddies member, um, Nikki Love Snacks. Here's her channel. So definitely go check her out. Give her a sub. It says, I really don't source toys much, but we always do well on vintage marbles. Can usually buy them in a jar for a couple of dollars at a thrift stores and flea markets. These bid up on auction for us. Paid $6, buyer bid up to $51. I feel like auctions lose money, could have probably sold higher at a buy it now. So I totally get what she's saying. And typically what I will do is I will start my auction out at the minimum I'm willing to take. Um, and then if it doesn't sell, I will hire the price and put it on a buy it now or best offer. But these are pretty cool marbles. You know, that's one thing that I think are, I think they're really cool and I always buy them and then I never list them because I'm always afraid that I have like some really high dollar marble that I'm gonna lose out on. So they're sitting all over that house in different money piles. <laughs> all right, you guys, the next one. Got this hand puppet plush on Facebook Marketplace and a huge bundle of plush. Picked out five toys for $30, so essentially paid $7.50 for it. Sold on auction for $1,000. Now that is, um, I think in Australia. So it looks like that the conversion would be $770.15 USD. Still, it's a hand puppet. <gasps> okay, so it's a super rare Princess Sally Acorn plush hand puppet from 1997, Sega World Sonic. So it's a Sega and definitely look up Sega items for sure. Okay, this one sold the sum in the summer, so had to track it down in my inbox. Bought at Goodwill for $2, came with all the pieces and the box. Veggie Tales, I always pick up Veggie Tales. So it is a Christian-based um, book series, DVD series, um, VHS, Veggie Tales toys, um, but it's Christian-based. So the items are a little bit harder to find because they were not as mass produced as like Barbie dolls and, you know, certain things like that. But um, you can still find them. I have done very well with VeggieTales, even the plush. Uh, this sold for $38.88 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item bought in a bag of plush. Average cost per item was $0.25. Cents. Sold in one day for $59.99 plus $5.10 shipping. So basically, you guys, I'm reading what they wrote. If That's why I'm looking down. So, so this little plush um, blanket, uh, what are they called? Um, oh my goodness, I cannot think of what they're called. Security blanket, but they, they call them something else. You guys let me know in the comments. I can't think of what it is. But this is a Jelly Cat, and Jelly Cat is a bolo item. Definitely be on the lookout for that brand of plush if you can find it and get it for a good price. Um, if it's a higher price, look it up because comps do vary from bread and butter to big money, but Jelly Cat's good. Uh, this sold for $59.99 plus shipping. I think I already said that. Sorry. Okay, you guys. This sold back in May, I think. I sold it for $510 plus shipping auction style. The buyer was surprised it didn't go higher. I'm surprised too. Um, found at the bins for a dollar. And vintage 48 inch beach balls are a bolo, but the characters even more so. So the the beach balls, the big, huge vintage beach balls, definitely a bolo item. This one has Care Bears on it. $510, you guys. Amazing. Okay, let's see. 
obvious to most, but newbies might not know about original Redline Hot Wheels. 1969 to 1977 sold a single car once for $12,600. So you guys, the wheels are black and on the inner, I don't want to say the inner part of the tire, there's a red line that goes around in a circle. Um, that's how you can um, identify them. Now they do range. Some of them go for $12,600. Some of them go for 15 or 20. Depends on condition, model, rarity, all that stuff. Is rarity a word? Rarity? Let me know. You guys will let me know in the comments. You always help me out with that. Okay. Um, let's see. So somebody asked, how do you know it's a red line? And I'm going to read to you guys what he said just to maybe he knows more than me, which I'm sure he does. It sounds like he does. He sold one for $12,000. Yep. Muscle cars from the 60s and 70s, real ones often sported red lines around the interior perimeter of the wheel. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. You know, I'm like, you know, the black part and on the inside, there's a red circle around the interior perimeter of the wheel. There you go. Now, if I can remember that. Mattel copied that when producing the first eight years of cars, but as they ran into financial issues in the late 70s, they were looking to cut costs. Eliminating the red stripe saved money, but be careful as they were reproduced in the 90s and are currently being made too. Got to do some research. If they say vintage on the base or have a Hot Wheels flame logo somewhere on the car, they're not originals and are not worth much. Wow. Okay. So let me read that again. They were reproduced in the 90s and are currently being made too. Gotta do some research. If they say vintage, they're not vintage. Um, on the base or have a Hot Wheels flame logo, Hot Wheels flame logo, somewhere on the car, they're not originals and not worth much. Okay, so that's another thing that's going on with Lisa Frank. So we used to know that Lisa Frank was vintage because the older stuff had a capital L and a capital F. Apparently, they're now making things with capital L and capital F. So you got to be careful with that. Another thing, the big E Levi's. I've heard they're bringing the big E back also. So um, usually denim, older denim is, you know, you're probably not going to mix it up with new denim, but I guess it's a possibility. So those are definitely a couple things to keep in mind. Um, so, all right, you guys, I'm going to end this one here. I have enough to do another video, so there is going to be a part two of the Toys Bolo. Um, this is currently still active. I don't know if it will be when I actually post this video, um, but you can go and check the announcement section of my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, and if it's still there, feel free to leave a comment, and if it's not, look for the new post because I will turn comments off when I make the video because um, that's just easier, so um, that way people don't think they're going to be in the video and then not be in the video. I just turn the comments off. All right, you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Um, if you know somebody you think could uh, benefit from this video, please share it out. I'm trying to grow the channel uh, and getting more people over here and you guys can help me do that. So I appreciate you all. Thank you for watching and have a great night. Be sure to check out the description of the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.